A Nazi who stood guard at a concentration camp during World War II has been deported back to Germany after living in Tennessee for over six. Friedrich Karl Berger, a 95-year-old German citizen, was deported after a U.S. immigration judge deemed his willing service as a guard of concentration camp prisons constituted assistance in Nazi-sponsored purse. The Department of Justice confirmed on Saturday that Berger was removed from the United Berger was eligible for deportation under the Holtzman Amendment, which prohibits anyone who participated in Nazi persecution from living in the U.S. The Board of Immigration Appeals upheld the ruling in November 2020 and he was deported this week. During Berger's trial, it was determined he worked as an armed guard at a Noyengama sub-camp near Mechelen, Germany. In 19, most of the prisoners in that camp were Russian, Dutch, and Polish civilians, with a small portion of Jews, Danes, Latvians, French, Italians, and other Nazi political. Berger also admitted he guarded prisoners to prevent their escape and didn't request a transfer from camp guard service. Most surprisingly of all, Berger still receives a pension from the German government, including for his war times. During Berger's 2020 trial, Berger said he was only at the camp for a short period of time, and said he didn't carry a weapon. I was 19 years old. I was ordered to go there, Berger said. After 75 years, this is ridiculous. I cannot believe it, he said. I cannot understand how this can happen in a country like this. You're forcing me out of my home. We are committed to ensuring the United States will not serve as a safe haven for human rights violators and war criminals, said acting ICE Director Tejon. We will never cease to pursue those who persecute others, Johnson continued. This case exemplifies the steadfast dedication of both ICE and the Department of Justice to pursue justice.